Hey guys, welcome back. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to access a dark web safely. The dark web is often portrayed as a menacing entity in popular culture with mainstream media suggesting that accessing it is a dangerous endeavor. However, this video aims to demystify the dark web and show you what it actually is, what risks should be considered and how to safely navigate it with the help of VPNs for an extra layer of security. So without further ado, let's dive in. Also, if at any point that give any of the mentioned VPNs a try, you'll find discount links available in the description down below to help you save some extra money. First of all, the dark web is simply a collection of websites that cannot be found through typical search engines and can only be accessed using specialized software like the Onion Router, I2P, Freenet, or Riffle. You also must know a specific URL in order to access these sites. It is true, however, the dark web does host a lot of illegal activities. Despite its reputation for being a natural habitat for illegal activities, some individuals and groups have found ways to use the dark web for positive purposes. For example, journalists often use it as a tool to uncover leaks and citizens living under oppressive regimes can use it to communicate safely. But it is important to note that the dark web is not inherently safe. It is filled with malware, tracking software, phishing pages, and various scams and hacks that users may fall victim to to if you're not careful. So with that being said, accessing the dark web itself is legal and can be done safely, though it can be a bit challenged to navigate. It's also important to note that dark web should not be confused with the deep web, which refers to unindexed web pages that may include personal pages of users or pages with important governmental, financial, or sufficient information. The dark web, on the other hand, can only be accessed using certain software such as Tor, the Onion Router, which is considered to be most reliable option. Tor is a network that allows anonymous communication, and it works by routing your connection through multiple nodes, starting with an easy node and an intermediate node, and finally, an exit node. This process helps to establish a secure connection and allows users to access the dark web. Now, one of the easiest ways to use Tor is to download the Tor browser, which handles the technical aspects of routing your connection through the network. While Tor provides a high level of privacy, it is important to note that there are also potential downsides to using it. One concern is that after passing through the exit node, the connection would no longer be protected, which can make it vulnerable to malware or phishing attacks. That's where VPNs come in. When accessing the dark web, it is recommended to use a VPN for added security. But not all VPNs are created equal. I personally use a combination of Tor and VPN, which provides the highest level of security. Many modern VPNs also have the ability to detect and block trackers, malicious links, and phishing attempts. Added to that, VPNs encrypt your connection and can prevent IP leaks or unstable connections. All right now, here are some suggestions to help you stay safe accessing the dark web. First, close all non-essential apps, particularly those that are connected to the internet. Second, as a precautionary measure, either cover your webcam or disconnect it. Third, make sure to use a reliable antivirus and VPN to keep your device secure. Next up, turn off your device's location tracking feature. And if you're going to use the Tor browser, ensure that all necessary security measures are in place. Finally, before clicking on any leaks on the dark web, be sure to determine what you are searching for. So those tips should help you stay safe while browsing the dark web. But you might be wondering what are the best VPNs for dark web or general security. And so I've been regularly testing the best and most popular VPNs and I've narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the best three VPNs overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, yet they all have a kill switch. They're excellent for torrenting and they all consistently work with streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video, and that's why these are my favorite three. But depending on your situation and preferences, one of them may be a better choice for you, and I'll explain why. Starting with ExpressVPN, and this is going to be the one to get if you're looking for the best, overall, fastest, and easiest to use VPN, and it has the most verified no locks policy, which was demonstrated through a real life stress test, proving that they don't collect or track any user data. It has over 3000 servers in 94 countries, which is a big number of countries, allowing you to easily access content from all over the globe. Plus you can secure up to five simultaneous connections per account, and it's compatible with most devices. And so ultimately, whenever people ask us what the best, most reliable VPN is, 
and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to ensure the highest level of reliability. Express is our trusty go-to choice for those looking for a premium VPN. Next up is NordVPN, and Nord is what I consider the best value VPN. It has over 5,400 servers in 60 countries, and while more servers does not necessarily mean better service, this can help your speed and latency especially if you want a VPN for gaming, or if you want extra features such as threat protection which blacks ads, malware ridden websites, as well as protects your device from harmful files which is a neat little feature. And so Nord kind of gives you more options to fiddle with and that's where the value for the money comes from. Especially that it's about as fast as ExpressVPN in terms of performance and will let you secure up to 6 devices per subscription as opposed to ExpressVPN's 5 device limit. So all in all if you're someone looking to have a few more options in your VPN, then Nord will be the one to get. And then finally, Surfshark is our pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just one account. So it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limits. You also get over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot. Also, you still get some bonus features such as an ad blocker for blocking pop-ups, two types of specialty servers, as well as a no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're trying to use a VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money but still have all the core features of a premium VPN, or if you want a VPN that allows you to secure all your devices, or if you have a large family, then Surfshark is the ideal choice. And so to sum it up, these VPNs are definitely the best in the business. ExpressVPN is a premium VPN with a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity, and it's perfect for those that are privacy conscious and are looking for the best VPN overall. Now, NordVPN is a well-rounded, high-performance VPN that offers a lot of value for the money and is ideal for those looking for bonus features that can be useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions such as strong encryption, secure torrenting and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is a truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessarily security features that you usually get with the more expensive VPNs. And as an added bonus, you can share it around with as many of your friends and family as you like, which is a great plus. And that's it for this video. Again, if you're interested in these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts as well as full reviews available in the description down below. And feel free to comment below if you have any questions as I love getting to interact with you guys. And like and subscribe if you found this video to be helpful or would like to stay up to date with our future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.